Just hours after this disturbing kidnap attempt unfolded in Florida, deputies were able to find the man they say is responsible, all thanks to an unexpected clue. I was able to get the slime on to his upper arm and I think a little bit on his jaw. 11-year-old Alyssa told me she was mixing blue paint into some homemade slime Tuesday morning while waiting for the school bus to arrive. Shortly after, this shocking surveillance video released by authorities shows a white vehicle driving up to a nearby corner. A man suddenly jumps out and starts to charge Alyssa. The man um, got out of his vehicle holding the knife came towards me and um, I tried to run, but he caught me. As Alyssa turns to run, the attacker grabs her and tries to drag her back towards the car. But she fought back, and both fell to the ground. The man quickly flees back to the SUV and speeds away. Authorities say that man is 30-year-old Jared Paul Stanga, now charged with attempted kidnapping of a child under 13, along with aggravated assault and battery. He's being held on just over $1.5 million bond. Alyssa says she knew to get the blue slime on her attacker because of one of her favorite shows she watches with her mom. A little show called Law and Order SVU. But I knew that that might be better evidence for if the cops do find them. Turns out she was right. The victim at the time of the attempted abduction was playing with blue slime. The suspect, when we caught him, had blue slime all over his own arms. Authorities praising Alyssa for her incredible bravery. I'm not so sure if she actually comprehends exactly what could have happened. And she fought like a trooper. How do you feel to be an example of how to fight back and not give in? What would Detective Olivia Benson say about you for such a good job? Probably you're brave and good job. My God, brave indeed, Carrie. Um, Carrie, here's here's another wild part of this story. It seems as if this wasn't the first time Alyssa experienced something like this recently. Well, she says about two weeks ago that she saw what she thinks is the same white van and the same man come up and try to talk to her. As a good junior detective, she told her mom Amber about it, as well as the school principal. And this morning, her mom tells us that Alyssa is getting some counseling right now, but she's seen no change in her daughter. She remains the resourceful young girl that she's always been, mm. guys. Wow.